Hey Crockpon, Miss Sarah here. Today I'm going to show you how to make pupusas, which I will admit at first I was very intimidated to attempt to make myself. Um, I thought it was just like too hard, too complicated, but I actually learned from uh, one of the frog teachers, Miss Rebecca, that it's really not as hard as you would think. Um, the one important thing I will say, because I've had an epic fail with a different brand, that this specific brand is the kind of um, corn flour that you want to use. Um, it just, it, the texture of it's better, the taste is better, um, and it cooks up better. So, main, most important ingredient. I've got the mix um, already pre-mixed here, so I did uh, four cups of the flour, I did three cups of water, um, and two teaspoons of salt. So, to make that, I'm gonna start with my little dough ball about golf ball size. And there's all different kinds of filling you can um, put into this, but since we're quarantine cooking, I'm gonna go with the simplest, um, just adding cheese. So, got my ball, gonna flatten it out a little bit to add the cheese. I'm gonna flip my pupusa while I'm at it. Adding the cheese in. Um, the one other thing, if you have it handy, that could be good is to also add in refried beans. That would be a nice addition. Um, but really, this is like a nice, simple, easy lunch for kids, nice snack. Um, it's a great one for kids to help you with because really, as you're putting the filling in, they can't do it wrong. Um, if you're doing it and like the dough starts to crack you can add a little bit more dough you can seal it up with a little extra oil you know there's no real mistakes and even if the cheese starts to come out a little bit that's actually what makes it extra yummy because that little cheesy bit will start to fry up when you put it in the pan um, and that's what makes those extra crispy brown bits so then see i actually i forgot an important step putting a little bit of water on your hands keeps it from sticking to your hands as you're making it. So, I'll demonstrate adding a little bit more dough, sealing it up here. All right, so we've got our little patty ready to go in the pan. And I'm gonna let this cook on one side for about two, three minutes, then flip it about two, three minutes on the other side. I've got another one here queued up that is almost ready to come out. So there's a nice um, coleslaw-like recipe. It's cabbage, carrots, um, onions, and vinegar. That makes a really, really nice yummy side to go with this. Um, if you have them on hand. If not, totally fine. So I've got this guy all nice and browned up. Show it to you here. Yum yum. Nice and gooey and cheesy. Mmm mmm mmm. You can serve it with salsa, serve it with um, the cabbage carrot slaw, and just have fun with it. Happy cooking!